सुखम नित्यम स्वप्रकाशम व्यापक नाम अधिष्ठानम बुद्ध बोध्यम And 
this nutrition is sukham and sukham has the similarity of being sukham and based on this similarity a person will have desire for gratishay sukham which is brahma and that's the second objection was answered then the third objection raised by the puro pakshi is that everybody has desire only for vishaya sukham and that kind of vishaya sukham is not possible in moksha because moksha is of the nature of non duality and thus nobody will have desire for the moksha which you have defined and for this the answer given was we asked the purva pakshi when the purva pakshi is saying this we ask him this do you mean that there will not be a single mumukshu or even the mumukshu is there he will not be engaged in this text and then we take up the first option and say that in fact everybody is a mumukshu and the purva pakshi who is saying that everybody only has vishaya sukham we give the example of sushupti we see that people have desire for sushupti ananda and this sushupti ananda is not coming from any vishaya it is just the swarupam of atma which is sukham and thus the correct rule is everybody has desire for happiness whether it be from objects or whether it be from varupa and then having answered the first option now we move to the second option where it is said that even the mumukshu is there he will not be engaged in this text and now we give the puro pakshi three options why do you say even the mumukshu is there he will not be engaged in the text is it because this book is not the moksha sadhanam and for that we give two levels of answer the first is that in fact no book is a moksha sadhanam so this book not being moksha sadhanam being direct moksha sadhanam is not a problem because jnanam is jnanam is the sakshat moksha sadhanam and not the text and then at the second level we say that having said that this book does uh, this book does contribute to moksha indirectly so for moksha one has to do shravanam mananam nididhyasanam to remove the various doubts and habitual errors and this book is in the form of shravanam and mananam and is quite capable of removing the pramanagata samchaya and pramayagata samchaya which will help a person in getting moksha so this this book is indirectly contributing to moksha then the second option which we had give which we give is do you mean to say that since there are better profound books which are most effective therefore in this particular grantha the moksha will not be engaged and to that we were seeing in the last class if the puro pakshi says like this that there are better books such as all the upanishad gita brahma sutra and the bhashyas on them which are more efficient more profound and by the study of those texts one would get jnanam and by that one would get moksha and therefore this particular sanskrit vichara sagara grantha is futile if the puro pakshi is saying like that then we answer in the following way the granthakara says that he tadrupa grantha vichara samar tadrusha grantha vichara samarthana mumukshu mumukshuna tadrusha granthaihi jnano daya sambhava atrata mandamatina tivratara mumukshuna प्रवृत्ति संभवाच्च सफलोयम ग्रंथ 
इति प्रतिब्रूयात if the purapakshi is saying in that manner then he should be told or one should give the answer in this way <coughs> because of the impos impossibility of the rise of knowledge by such texts such as this with the help of such texts with the help of such texts such as upanishad brahma sutra etc for whom for the people who are desirous of freedom but who are not capable of analysis of these texts this is one thing and second is because of the possibility of the engagement of the people who are intense seeker desirous of freedom and who do not have exposure to other shastras for such kind of people the engagement is possible in this text and therefore safalah ayam grantah therefore this text is fruitful so here two things are there one is there are people who are mumukshu but who are not capable of uh, studying those advanced texts and those same mumukshu can study this sanskrit vichara sagara and get the benefit of moksha and therefore this grantha is fruitful and then in the 51st avarta the third option is restated and then dismissed so first it is said the first the puro paksha is restated मोक्ष for whom for the people who are desirous of freedom and who do not have exposure to other shastras and how will it be useful for them because for such people there is non rise of knowledge by the advanced texts so since there is non rise of knowledge by the advanced texts for the mumukshu who do not have exposure to other branches of shastra for them even though this book will be useful tathapi still just by mere desire for freedom the engagement in this text would not be born so what he means is that just mumuksha is not enough one has to have, have other qualification such as vivekadi etc for the engagement in this text and then viveka vairagya samadamadi sadhana kalapa yukta mumukshu jana sambhavat iti shankamanah vikalpyate kim adhikarinah bahavah na santi uta na ekah api iti so uda purva pakshi who is suspecting that because of the impossibility of a person who is the desirer of freedom and who is endowed with the group of qualities such as viveka vairagya shama dama etc because of the impossibility of such a person the engagement in this text would not be there to the puro pakshi who is suspecting in this manner the following option is presented by the siddhanti what is the option is it is it the case that there are not many qualified people or is it the case that not even one qualified person is there iti vikalpyate and then siddhanti says 
आत्ये इष्टापत्ति ही सर्ववादी संपत्ति पत्ते है If the Purvapakshi says goes with the first option, then there is ishta patti, uh, attainment of desirable situation. Why? Because situation or proposition. <coughs> मुख्यो योग्या 
योग्याधिकारी भवति the person whose defects such as mala vikshepa etc are removed from the mind and how they are removed by the performance of righteous action and upasana and when are these sadhanas performed either in this life or in previous life and for and such a person whose defects are removed by the performance of this sadhana sah eva that person alone is the main suitable qualified person for what for the knowledge which is born by the analysis of vedanta so he is the mukhya adhikari and tasya asmin granthe jayate eva pravruttihi asmin granthe jayeta eva pravruttihi for that qualified person the of that qualified person definitely the engagement in this text would be born and that the third akshepa was also answered by saying that there will be a mumukshu and his pravrutti in this text will definitely be there and thus this text is not useless yes it is good i did not answer to one punha so to one punha both however under however however for which person the defect such as mala vikshepa etc are removed from the antakarna by the performance of righteous action and upasana in this life or previous life that person alone is the mukhya adhikari it is just pure lands for yeh janma ne jamantare i i think i did not last it huh? भूमुक्षु and vichar sadhana is a mokshopayogi for the people who are not exposed to other disciplines of knowledge still pravrutti of the mumukshu will not be there into this book why because mumuksha itself is not enough we require shamadamaadi vairagya viveka some people do it especially when things don't go well they say ah everything is right yeah no. but vairagya effective vairagya doesn't so viveka the are not there even though mumuksha may be there person may be every now and then cry oh lord i want moksha i want you only i brahma prapti only i want so cry <laughs> i have seen some people who they cry but they don't do what is to be done. so crying shows that they have intense desire but not doing shows either they are lazy or that intense desire is only period it is a periodic spasmodic like you know bouts the bouts of that desire comes but that is not <clears throat> that is not the pravrutti karana so pravrutti karana when mumuksha is sustained mumuksha along with sustained viveka vairagya the viveka vairagya is not there no the person will be fighting with others viveka vairagya shamadamad is not there so he keep on fighting and uh, <clears throat> will not be able to stay in one place or will be able to even fighting with guru the post will then will not be able to have the pravrutti in the therefore all these are required and they are not there 
therefore granthi pravritti nasya for that siddhanti said from a standpoint you are right that there are not many adhikaris but don't say there is no adhikari at all so things are not that great right but things are not that bad also that nobody is going to come somebody will come and how somebody will become adhikari then he explain that see there are three dosha mala vikshepa ramana and who is the adhikari not that the person who was all three dosha has gone isn't it all three dosha has gone is not adhikari it is over qualified so the person whose two doshas are gone mala and vikshepa are gone that person is adhikari and how one can become adhikari by removing mala and vikshepa what will help the person to remove mala and vikshepa for that grandakara gave the answer mala is removed by shubha karma with proper attitude and this vikshepa is removed by upasana really speaking this swarupa varana is by gnanena uh, is not necessary because we are talking about the adhikari and a person who has removed this mala and vikshepa by karma yoga and upasana either in this janma or in other janma previous janma that person is adhikari and such people are possible and one logic we give the very fact that shruti prescribes the karma and upasana it means there will be somebody to do karma and upasana if karma and upasana nobody is going to do then bhagwan is unintelligent right he produce something for which there is no taker and therefore there must be someone even a even a local fellow one who is starting the business he he produces something which will be bought by some people and therefore bhagwan also will manifest that shastra which is going to be useful so karma kanda upasana kanda are there therefore there must be some people will be doing this and when they do that karma and upasana it will give chitta shuddhi and even if a person is committed to kamya karma still he is supposed to do vihita karma because the rule is that kamya karma will give the result only when a person is doing vihita karma that is the that is the siddhanta of karma yoga ah uh, sorry karma kanda it is something like who is paying the regular bills that person alone will be given the contract he has got lot of you no know, debt to the government he will not be given fresh so kamya karma will be giving result only when vehita karma is done that is why nowadays this kamya karma of people is not getting fulfilled one reason is that because people are not doing vehita karma and therefore this karma even if person is committed to kamya karma he will be doing vihita karma which will give him chitta shuddhi as a by product it will take little longer and if this person is doing vihita karma more with proper attitude then mala nivrutti will happen and he will do upasana ikshepa nivrutti happen and person will be adhikari so siddhanti says that there is some adhikari in some text anandgiri ji or some commentator say nahi sarve bhava drishaa <laughs> he says everybody is not like you means you are not adhikari you are so much committed to bhoga and therefore you think everybody will be like this he says so tika kara says nahi sarve bhava drishaa all are not like you there are some people who will be interested all right and 
सिंस अधिकारी देर एंड इस ग्रंथे प्रवृत्ति इस एंगेज में इस ग्रंथा में हेल्प करेगा नमो इन द नेक्स्ट आवर्ता ग्रंथकारा इस सेइंग दैट ऑल वांट विषय सुखम एंड नोबडी वांट्स नित्य निरेते शेष सुखम दैट इस नॉट करेक्ट यू आर इग्नोरिंग the vaichitram in this world vaichitram is variety all are not evolved people all are not refined people but all are not unrefined as well there can be majority of unrefined people but there is existence of refined people who may be in minority and grantha kara says for our even minority is good enough to start the text like we can start the course for two people so why not <laughs> why not <eight> it <laughs> we have given the example that it is not necessary that uh, we have to have big crowd then only study can happen three people are here we are having the class There is no such thing. So, Ami Chinmay used to say that don't be worried about the number of students. He said, "Bhagwan Sri Krishna had only one student." <laughs> Remember that you cannot have less number than one. No. So, even if you have one, still you are a Bhagwan Sri Krishna like teacher. So that's why Siddhant is saying that there is a variety in this universe. Variety in this this world of people. and that idea he gives in the next sentence saying that variety is there therefore there are some people who will be refined as well so he he present this uh, division of people in a very broad manner to say that there are some adhikari people yattu uktam oh, sorry yattu uktam sarve api vishaya sukha saktaha eva and what was told yattu uktam However, what was told? Now, what was told? That is given. Sarve api vishe sukha sakta ha eva. All are committed to the happiness born of objects, objective happiness, object related happiness. All are eva just committed to. attached to the happiness born of objects <coughs> na kaha api nitya nirati chaya sukham vanchati nobody uh, sorry anybody does not want na vanchati does not want nitya nirati chaya sukham permanent unsurpassable happiness everybody is attached to only object related happiness nobody wants this permanent and unsurpassable happiness moksha sukha tanna that is not correct why pamaraha vishayi jignasu muktaha cha iti loke chatur vidaha purushaha a very beautiful description he gives he says there are loke in the world chaturvidaha purusha there are four types of people what are they pamaraha pamaraha literally means wicked or uh, you know the khala means a bad person they call it here it refers to a base person base person have you heard the word base base means eh? acid base base no no <laughs> <laughs> very good <laughs> see this is what happened see you think base <laughs> have you heard this word base person base means unrefined Okay, then let me use another. 
base means unrefined. Hmm? Unrefined. It will be defined who is the base of this day, Pamara. It is Pama Asti Yasya Pamara. Pama means Papadi Dorbalyam Asti Yasya Saha Pamara. Pam, Paman plus Rapratya. Lowly, lowly person we call it. Nichaha. In Sanskrit they say Nichaha. Low. Okay. This gave Pamara. It will be further clarified. <laughs> base then acid should <laughs> vishayi acid no vishayi means the attached to the sense of sense and enjoyment vishaya literally means objects of enjoyment vishayi means one who has got objects of enjoyment or one who is obsessed with the objects of enjoyment vishayi Materialistic person. Consumerist. Have you heard the word consumerist? Ah. Jignasu who? means the, the one who is desirous of knowing Atma. Not physical chemistry. Jignasu means desirous of knowing the truth. And Mukta Hacha and free person. Iti in this manner, loke in the world, there are four types of people. So, in Paramarthanji, nicely says, Pamaraha, 95%. Vishayi, 3.5%. Jignasu, 1%. Muktaha, 0.5%. <laughs> I like it. We get the person. <laughs> 95, 3.5, 1, 1.5. And 1.0, 0.5. 0. 0. 0.5. Ah, yeah. This is how it is. But they are there. All right. Now he explains each one of them. Tatra. Among this four, Chaturvida Purusheshu Madhye. Vihita. Tatishiddaishu, Ehika Vishay Bhogeshu, Asattahasan, Shastriya Samskar Shunyaha, Yaha Saha Pamaraha. How leisurely he explains, you know. He started explaining all this. He is answering that Radhikari is there. It that we thought it is over. Radhikari is somebody there. So he said, next to not so much. <laughs> so he likes to give all detail answer. Uh, all right. So who is Pamaraha? One who is Shastriya Samskar Shunyaha Yaha. Yaha, one who is Shastriya Samskar Shunyaha. Bereft of, devoid of. We generally don't use the free from. Free as but something like bond and then free. So, he is devoid of, deprived of, not having. Shastriya Samskara, the scriptural refinement. Samskara can be taken both. Scriptural refinement, Samskara means refinement. That's why we call Fodas Samskaras, refinement. Or Samskara means the impressions. Impre impressions of the learning of Shastra, impressions of the action of doing Shastriya Karma, that also can be called Samskara. But here we will keep it as refinement. Shastriya Samskara Shunya. One who is devoid of the scriptural refinement. This, he doesn't have this Sandhya Vandanam or any Samhita Dhanam, Agni Hutra, nothing. Nothing. Whenever it feels like getting up, he gets something. Whenever he feels like sleeping, when he feels like eating, he does that. So, Shastriya Samskara Shunya. This, most of the people are like this only nowadays. And, Asakta Hasan. 
भी आ सकता है अटैच्ड पैशनेट इनफैक्ट यूज द वर्ड पैशनेट टू व्हाट विषय भोगेशु ऐहि का विषय भोगेशु अटैच्ड टू भी एंजॉयमेंट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऐहि का बिलोंगिंग टू दिस वर्ड So this eat, drink, be merry. That's all. Eat, drink, be merry. Is a M E to whatever M E M E M E R N Y no merry or M E. M E R N Y. So M E R N Y. M E R N Y. M E R N Y. Merry. That. I used to say sometimes, eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> all right. Eat, drink, and be merry. Merry means. You just enjoy. So these people being attached to the bhogas, the enjoyment of the objects of this world, and these objects, these bhogas, the enjoyments are what? Vihita pratishiddeshu, the permitted and prohibited. He doesn't care for this. See those who are. Very particular about halal, non-halal. They will see brand, veg, non-veg. Those who are not particular, they will never see veg, non-veg. Why should they see? Whereas people like us will like, even in Brazilian it is written will ask about it. <laughs> so that's what we do. Whereas this person what? Vihita pratishit deshu bhogeshu. Asakta ha is attached to the object, the enjoyments which are permitted and not permitted. Like alcohol is not permitted, so it should be. He doesn't mind. Like not permitted by whom? You would say not permitted by whom? Who is that to prohibit? He doesn't care. So this person, two adjectives are given. Person who is attached to all kinds of bhogas of these objects and not having any scriptural refinement. Scriptural refinement, what what? This ayatno pavita samskara, then karna vedana, etc. The samskara is there. There, vivik, where, divah samskara, no samskara. So, shastriya samskar shunya and attached to the bhogas. So, this person is called pamara. We can call him non-religious materialist. Non-religious materialist is pamara. We don't say that that person will be immoral or something. Need not be. He may be honest. It's not necessary that uh, they these people are means dishonest and all. Not necessary. Yes, their honesty will be there, but their honesty is not connected with spirituality. And therefore, they they may have difficulty in handling the pressure because they will see that everybody is dishonest. That is a foolishness to be honest. So he may compromise. But main thing is that they do not have any religious samskara and they believe in enjoyment. They openly declare that I don't believe in God and I believe in enjoying life. This what the philosophy charva. These are referring to charva. Then second one is Vishayi, Shastra Nusari Vishaya Bhogan Gunjana Hasan. Iha Mutrata Bhol Phala Bhoga Vapte Karma Kurvana Vishayi. Two adjectives. Sun being Gunjana, enjoying or experiencing. Vishaya Bhoga, the enjoyments of the objects. Of course. Shastranu Sari, in keeping with the scriptures. In other words, what? Vihita Vishaya Bhogan Bhujana. Shastranu Sari means what? Vihita. Experiencing the enjoyments of the objects permitted by the scriptures. If Shastra says this should not be eaten, he will not. That much he follows. And karma kurvanaha 
and he is doing karma. For what? Bhoga avaptaye. For the attainment of enjoyment. Of what? Ala, result. Result which is in the form of artha, the object. Object where? Iha, here. Amutra, here. So a person doing the action for the attainment of the enjoyments of the result in the form of the objects here and hereafter. Is it clear? Means this person can be called as religious materialist. He is a materialist because he is bhogan bunjana. He is very passionate about enjoying the object but permissible. He will eat permissible, very passionately. Not only eat, whatever bhoga is permitted, he likes. But only this much he, he considers that Shastra has not prohibited, then only I will eat. But otherwise, will give me papa. And if I get papam, if I do papa, then I have to suffer. That much shraddha is there in Shastra. And he will be doing karma so that he gets more wealth in this life, more bhogas in this life to enjoy and hereafter. So this is called religious materialistic person. That is called Vishayi. Now, third one. So Vishayi is equivalent to Artharthi of this seventh chapter. Chatur Veda Bhajante Bhav. Artharthi. But Pamara, we cannot say Artha. Okay? You don't connect with that. Nicho, match me, match making. Bad me, match making, only this match making is not there. Because he is a Shastriya Samskar Shunya. He will not go to Bhagavan. Oh, Bhagavan, please help me. So, Vishayi can be, in this Vishayi itself, we can Artha and Artharthi can be included. Mainly Artharthi, but Artha can be included. He will go to Bhagavan and ask, and trouble is there. Then next one is Chignasu Lakshana. Third is Chignasu Bhakta of the seventh chapter is Chignasu. Yahatu Shastriyottama Samskara Balat Adhyatma Adi Sat Shastra Shravanam Karoti Tasya Bhakshamana Ritya Vivekaha Jayate Tatha Vivekaha Yastu Bhavati Sahayeva Chignasu. So he said, Yahatu, whereas one who is Karoti, Satchastra Shravanam Karoti, one who does the listening to good scriptures, Adhyatma Aditya, related to Adhyatma spiritual or religious, Adipadena Dharmika, Dharmika Shravanam, Purana Aditya, or Dharma Shastra. So, Adhyatmadi, the spiritual scripture, spiritual good scripture or religious good scripture. Hmm? Shravanam Karoti, he does listening to good scripture related to the spirituality and religious matter. How is it possible? Shastriya Uttama Samskara Bala. On account of the strength, bala, due to the strength of what? Samskara, the refinement. And what type of samskara? Uttama samskara, the best refinement. Shastriya, related to the scriptures. So, because of or due to the strength of scriptural best refinement, or because of the impression, the best impressions born of the scriptural activities and scriptural understanding, he does such sastra shravana. Is it clear? Sanskara, refinement or impressions. In simple words, because of which background, good samskara, good refinement in this life, and in the previous line. Because of that, Adhyatmadi Satsastra Shramanam Karoti. 
from the beginning childhood itself we would like to read this only we had one person uh, who was i was studying with him <coughs> with uh, swami ji he used to go to the library and about that person the librarian told me he said this person doesn't come this side because this side is all novels and detective all this you know fiction but the other side all is religious and all this he said this fellow he said he never come this side and i used to go that side <laughs> <laughs> i was very fond of all this so he said he never but i start afterwards i started that side also then i used to go both sides <laughs> then he become that religious side only afterwards but it happened so i remember he this is the most good guy so he he said this person is now he, like librarian told me i don't know why but <laughs> So I was going that side. <laughs> so he said, "Never come this side. So Sat Sastra Shravanam karo." Of course, you are not taking Sat Sastra Shravan Eva karo. So we can do some consolation. <laughs> so uh, Sat Sastra, I used to take Bhagavad Gita from book afterwards. When I started going to Brahma Kumari, but why is I Bhagavad Gita to argue with them? <laughs> Sat Sastra Shravanam karo. And when uh, this fiction and such are not there, so religious book also I will study. That is the second option. <laughs> But both were happy. Tasya for that person, Vakshman Ritya by the method which is going to be talked about in the next paragraph by Riti. Riti means method by way which is going to be talked about. By the method which is going to be talked about, Tasya for that person, Viveka ha, discriminative understanding, Jayate is born. For that person who does such sastra shavanam, for that person, Viveka is born. By the method which is or by the way which is going to be talked about, Tatha. And thus, विवेकाह यस्य भवति और तथा कि in that manner विवेकाह यस्य भवति विवेका is born for whichever person सहायव जिग्नासु that person alone is जिग्नासु so who is जिग्नासु one who has got विवेका और one gets विवेका By the method which is going to be talked about, that person is Chitras, and that Viveka is described in very detailed manner. How Viveka will be born to this person? So many steps are given. Eight, ah, uh, eight steps with Viveka that will be born. So those details we see in this case. Um, शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री